Mecklenburg County leaders are taking another step toward developing the former Eastland Mall site into a park and a new location for future affordable housing sites. You, uh, Queen City News reporter Savannah Rudisell is at the Uptown Government Center with the details. County commissioners agreed to take four and a half acres of the former Eastland Mall site off the city of Charlotte's hands. It's the next step needed to develop a park on the land. City parks and rec designers have already been working on a plan. They'd like to create turf and grass fields, walking trails and a stage, among other amenities. Parks Department leaders say they'll continue designing through the majority of this year, hopefully start construction by the end of 2024 and open the space in 2026. District 1 Commissioner Elaine Powell voted against the motion because she says the plan for the park came to them without enough room for design changes. Other county leaders say they do not want to miss the opportunity to do something with the land. In pre-development, nobody even asked Park and Rec what they thought, like about what kind of, what size park you need, where you need it, how can we get the pest access for the public. We have paid significant amounts to build a school out there and to do other things. They're giving this to us for free. Mm -hmm. Eastern Wall community for 14 years have been neglected. You, the county, the city, and nobody else has done anything to now. The other plot of land the county acquired is a former CMS property in Central Charlotte, just off North Graham Street. It was previously the Performance Learning Center. County leaders say they'd like to develop affordable housing on the land, but they have no concrete plans to do so just yet. The county manager will first have to put out a request for proposals before they have any idea of how much it may cost or how many units could be available. Reporting in Uptown, Savannah Rudisell, Queen City News.